Paper hands, diamond hands. Paper hands or diamond hands. Paper hands or diamond hands. So welcome back to my channel, Eric here. And today we're going to talk about paper hands versus diamond hands. And you might be wondering, you know, what these terms are. How does that relate to stock investing? And that's what we're going to talk about today. So I got a quite a good agenda. So first we're going to define what paper hands and diamond hands are. And then we're going to talk about why is it important. We're going to talk about the key distinctions and the formula. And also we're going to go through an example here as well on how I made 73.9% from an investment. So let's get started. So first we want to celebrate four successful case studies from Investing Accelerator, where Sam made 41% from LMT in two months, Mike made 46% from RTX in five months, 45% from LHX in 2.5 months, and John made 43% from RTX in five months as well. So congrats to these three gentlemen. Uh, you're doing a great job when it comes to investing. Keep up the good work. So paper hands. Now, this is actually a slang used by mostly people on Reddit when it comes to stock investing. So paper hands means someone who sell too early. In the world of stock markets, someone with paper hands ex exits a position, folds early because the financial risk is high. In other words, they panic sell. So that's the key word here. And their hands are described as paper because they fold or break with the slightest pressure. Do you think you're a paper hand? Or do you think you are diamond hands? So diamond hands refer to someone that can hold their positions to the end despite the headwinds. When you have diamond hands, you have high risk tolerance and you don't exit your positions quickly. The primary goal of someone with diamond hands is to hold a position until you achieve your investment goals. So when it comes to investing, we focus a lot on being diamond hands, even though I don't name my program diamond hand investing. So why is this important? What are the key distinctions and how can you have diamond hands? So first, it keeps you in the right trades. Now, if you are right, it is important to stick with that investment because just like Warren Buffett said, you're not going to be right all the time, but when you are right, you need to stick with it till the end because that's how you get higher profit. And it also increases your conviction as well because you're not jumping around, you're not having a lot of transaction costs. You know that this is the deep research you did and you know you're right. So you got to let it play out till the end so you maximize that reward. Now, after coaching over 200 people, what are some of the key differences between paper hands and diamond hands? Now, first, if you are a paper hand, what you need to understand is that headwinds are part of life. It's all about how you deal with unexpected headwinds in life. You know, if you're a paper hand, then obviously you will leave at the first sign of trouble and you're not able to go through any dips. If you are diamond hands, you understand that stocks, you know, they don't go up immediately. More often than not, when you invest, it just doesn't change. It might go up by a percent or go down by a percent. So when I talk to the mutual fund manager friends that I have, this is actually one of the most important lessons so far, is that when they purchase a position, they don't expect the stock to go up immediately. And that is crucial. Now, when someone is a paper hand, they usually have short-term vision. Now, when they have short-term vision, it doesn't usually equate to short-term gains. It usually equates to short-term losses. So they will be very willing to take losses very quickly. They want to take that loss. It's almost like a self-fulfilling prophecy where if you think short-term, you get short-term losses. When you're diamond hands, you have a much longer view of the market. You know, you want the market to surprise you. You know that you cannot predict the market, which is what we focus on. And you want the market to give you a pleasant surprise. 
So you can see it's a very different mindset between paper hands versus diamond hands. Now, when you're looking at paper hands, they're emotional. They follow the hype. For them, it's all about riding that rocket ship until it runs out of fuel. And the rocket falls back to the ground, unless, of course, that rocket is SpaceX, and now you suddenly have a mechanism to safely go back to the ground. If you are basing your decisions based on emotions, then one day you might just wake up on the wrong side of the bed and decide to sell your position. That's why, for diamond hands, they make their decisions based on facts. And this should be in the very beginning, before you even place your trade, you make your decision based on facts. You make your judgment. You observe. You gather data to support your claim. And then you buy. Because once you buy, there's really not much you can do when it comes to investing. Like you can play around with different option strategies. You can try to hedge. You can try to do all these things. But at the end of the day, 90% of the work is done before you buy. Because once you buy, you go on to do your day job, you let your investment work for you. So that's why it requires a lot of patience, analytical skills, investing knowledge in order to become a diamond hand. So that brings me to the formula for conviction. Now, if you have been following Investing Accelerator or if you actually watched the free training I have on my website, which is in the first link below. It's a four hour training where we talk about this topic in a much greater detail. But the basic principle here is fundamental and technical analysis. When I hop on you know, over a thousand calls with people, I always ask them, do you know how to use technical analysis? Do you know how to use fundamental analysis? And if the answer is no to any of these two questions, you know that well there there's the problem like that that's the that's the answer you know if you're looking for why you're not making money on the stock markets this is the answer you need to have both and notice conviction doesn't come from options conviction doesn't come from you know i'm using a long term short term straddle strangle option strategy it comes from research and research there's two schools of thoughts which is technical and fundamental. And there's also some other techniques as well, like news and whatnot. But if you are able to cover these two areas very well, then you know you have a very successful strategy. So let's go through an example. So Lee Auto, it's an electric vehicle company. So if you have been following my channel, I think last year I predicted the EV bubble will burst, uh, but turns out it just bursts after I released the video. I actually predicted it to burst in three to five years, but it burst last, uh, this year. So great. So there was actually an opportunity to invest in EV at a very discounted price. You know, in Investing Accelerator, we did the research on Li Auto, we did the research on NEO, uh, another Chinese EV company, we did the research on Tesla, we thought it was overvalued, and we did a research on a couple of other EV stocks as well, like Workhorse, if you know, um, uh, E. XPEV, uh, if I remember correctly. Uh, there's also another one. I don't remember the symbol anymore. Like Nicola, that's right. So in the end, I pulled the trigger on Lee Auto. And it was approximately 5% of my portfolio, maybe a little bit less during that time. And this is the trade. I invested $31,552. And the gain here is $23,327. So if you're wondering what is this screenshot you see in the middle, this is actually the screenshot from TD Canada, which is the broker I use. And these are the options I use. Um, so I'll explain this in a lot more detail in a bit. But the gain here is 73.9%. And I held it from May to June. Now, if I'm honest here, I actually did not expect to make 73% so quickly. I actually expected to make this kind of return over one year to two years. So obviously, I was patient and I waited till the last minute to enter into the market. And then afterwards, the market outperformed my expectation within two months. Now, if this took longer, let's say... Um, it took 12 months, 
I would be very happy as well because as you know, I'm a long-term investor and I always want to invest long-term. So from this screenshot, you'll see the profit is 23.3K. So if you sum up these three columns, or if you just look at the upper parts of the screenshot, that is the total gain amount. So let's jump over to the chart. Now, if you're new to my channel and you don't have this chart set up, this is actually a free template I have for, um, you know, people who, who joined a free chart course or um, they just grabbed this template. So yeah, you can just grab it. It's in the four hour training. Uh, so then it looks exactly the same as, you know, what this is. When you're looking at this chart, you got to think through, okay, what is the price you're trying to enter? Now we want to enter at a discounted price. So we actually got in at this week, this May 10th week. Now you might say, well, Eric, this is actually very perfect. But when you look at this opportunity, there's actually one, two, three, four, five weeks that are good to enter. So you didn't have to enter May 10th, 2021, which is what I did, which was accurate, fantastic, at around 18, 19 dollars or whatnot. You could have entered in these five weeks and still make a similar profit. So if we just take an average price here, it's around 20 bucks. Now, when you're looking at this part, it actually looks quite scary before you know that it's going to recover because at that point, Lee was actually crashing along with Tesla, along with Neo, and this is actually what you see. So it started out with 15 bucks or whatever, went all the way to 46 and came down. So if you are the type of people that follow the hype, you know, jump onto the rockets, you might have bought here. You might have bought 40, 45, you might have bought 35, and you would be incurring a significant loss. Now, if you are the type to have diamond hands, you do your research, your analytical, then you will try to get in at a discounted price. Now, that's why we focus a lot on buying discounted stock in the program is because it protects you. Because at the end of the day, yes, you can buy here, you can buy here, you can buy here, and you would still get some gain in the short term. But the moment the party is over, then you might be in a lost position for a very long time. So that's why we focus on discount, because discount means protection. It doesn't necessarily mean higher profit, which it usually means higher profit, but it means protection. That's why we focus on discount. Now, within these three to five weeks, if you have made the correct decision to buy it, let's say yeah, at $20, April 19th, you would still incur losses for first, second, third, and fourth week before this bottom is complete. So if you are a paper hand, you didn't do your research, and you bought in, you actually made the right decision with hindsight here, because we can see what's happening in the future, you would still have exited, panicked, and got out of the position too early because you paper hand, because you make decisions based on emotion. So that's why it is so important to do research. That's why we compare between Neo, Lee, Tesla, you know, during the weekly group coaching call that we do, and we determine what is the best investment. And at that point, for myself, it was Lee. So that's why I entered it here. And I held on to approximately June, so middle June. So if you look at this screenshot, you can actually see I exited early to late Ju uh, middle June. So in this case, if I just go here, you can see that my exit point, which is just around here, is around $26 to $30. Now, if you entered around $20 and you exited at $30, this will get you around 40 to 50% using stocks alone. So if you don't understand options, you don't know what's happening here, don't worry about it. Because what's important is that even if you use stocks alone, you get around 40-50% during this time. Now if you use options, of course, you multiply your profits. And that's how I got 73%. And then at that point, I was happy with the profit. You know, my target was at around this price. And it reached my target earlier. And I was actually prepared for it to take one to two years to get there. Like I wasn't in a rush to exit. 
I wasn't in a rush for the market to go up immediately. I wasn't in a rush to, you know, check the market every day. Now, of course, it turns out to be fantastic because every single week after I purchase, it went up. But even if it has taken more time, like three months doing nothing and then suddenly it goes up, it's fine. I wouldn't be worried about it. And that is really the difference emotionally between paper hands and diamond hands. So when we're going through this example, you need to understand even if you have made the right decision as a paper hand because of you know short term, because of the decision making process, because of how you understand headwinds, it makes you to have a bad exit strategy. You know what is a realistic exit point that you can set. You know what you know can happen in the market which can be very unpredictable. You know your decision is based on facts and you did your research and you know at that point it was an opportunity. So then you make that decision and you continue to hold on until the entire event plays out. So that is really the message of this video is how to become diamond hands. And the formula for conviction is very simple, technical and fundamental analysis.